Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Chem Corona. Myself, Mayuresh Rao, Assistant Professor, Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry, Sinhagad Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences. Today, we are going to discuss proton pump inhibitors. So, the general pharmacophore for proton pump inhibitors is shown here. It contains a benzimidazole ring, a pyridine ring, and these two heterocycles are fused together by a sulfoxide linker. Basically, proton pump inhibitors are used to treat different types of peptic ulcers as well as gasoesophageal reflux disorders. Based on their structure, proton pump inhibitors can be split into two groups. They all have substituted pyridine part. The first group of proton pump inhibitors are linked to various benzimidazoles, whereas the second group of proton pump inhibitors are linked to a substituted imidazopyridine ring. The various structures of proton pump inhibitor are omeprazole, rabeprazole, lansoprazole, and pantoprazole. All these drugs, they act as prodrugs and they are activated by strongly acidic conditions which are found in the canaliculi of parietal cells. Activation of proton pump inhibitor involves three steps. First step is protonation of the benzimidazole ring. Second step is rearrangement to form sulfinic acid. And third step is formation of disulfide with gastric H plus K plus ATPase. Now let us understand this mechanism through structural form. First step is protonation. So the lone pair of electrons on nitrogen atom they are going to attack on the second carbon of the imidazole ring. This leads to formation of a spiro intermediate and there is loss of the aromatic character of this imidazole ring. But at the same time this imidazole ring can gain its aromatic character by transfer of the lone pair of electrons at here and at the same time this sulfoxide ring is going to break leading to formation of sulfenamide intermediate. This sulfenamide intermediate will undergo an intramolecular rearrangement to form pyridinium sulfenamide structure and this pyridinium sulfenamide structure reacts with proton pump and forms a disulfide bomb leading to irreversible inhibition. So this is all about the mechanism of inhibition of proton pump inhibitors. The various drugs are first drug which was introduced was timoprazole. In 1975 timoprazole was found to inhibit acid secretion irrespective of its stimulus whether intracellular or extracellular. Studies on timoprazole revealed that enlargement of thyroid gland due to inhibition of iodine uptake as well as there was atrophy of thymus gland. Literature search showed that some substituted mercaptobenzimidazoles had no effect on iodine uptake and introduction of such substituents into timoprazole resulted in an elimination of the toxic effects without reducing the antisecretory effects. So, omeprazole was launched into the market in 1979. It was the first class of drug which was introduced under proton pump category. It contains an 5-methoxy substituent on the benzimidazole ring and this imparts more stability at neutral pH. It is a 1s to 1 racemate drug with a backbone structure of timoprazole but it has 2, uh, two methyl substituents and 2 methoxy substituents. 2 methoxy groups are present at 6th position of the benzimidazole ring and other at the 4th position of the pyridine ring whereas the 2 methyl groups they are present at 3rd position and 5th position of the pyridine ring. The next drug is isomaprazole. 
Isomeprazole is an S isomer of omeprazole which was developed as a magnesium salt in 1987 by Astra and it was found to be having less interpatient variability compared to omeprazole. Another drug that is lansoprazole, it was introduced in 1991 in Europe and in US in 1995. It has no substitutions on the benzimidazole ring. You can see here there is no substitution is present on this benzimidazole ring. On the pyridine, it has two substituents. The first is methyl group, which is present at third position. And the second substituent is trifluoroethoxy group which is present at the fourth position. Dexlansoprazole it was again launched as a follow-up of lansoprazole in 2009 and it is an RN enantiomer of lansoprazole. Pantoprazole it was the first prepared in 1985 by small scale chemists and it has a difluoroxy group on the benzimidazole ring. You can see here this is difluoroxy benzimidazole ring. And it also has two methoxy groups which are present at third and fourth position of the pyridine ring. Rabeprazole. Rabeprazole was introduced in 1999 in USA. Like lansoprazole. It also does not have any substituent on the benzimidazole ring, but it contains methyl group at third position of the pyridine, as well as there is presence of methoxy propoxy substitution. This is methoxy propoxy substitution at the fourth position. Rabeprazole is marketed as a sodium salt. And the last drug in this category is tenataprozole. Tenataprozole is an imidazopyridine proton pump inhibitor. It has a plasma half-life of 7 hours. Due to the presence of imidazopyridine moiety, the rate of metabolism is reduced and there is longer plasma residence time. It has various substituents that is it contains Two methoxy groups, one at position 6 on the imidazopyridine ring and the other is present at 4th position of the pyridine ring. It also has two methyl substituents which are present at position 3 and position 5 of the pyridine ring. Biability of tenataprazole is double for the S-tenataprazole. So, Thank you for patient listening and happy learning. Like, share and subscribe my channel Chem Corona.